There it is. There's the little pull tab. <gasps> Welcome to Chase Gets a New Phone today. This is a thing I've been wanting slash needing for a very long time now. This is like screwed. I, I should get new glasses. I'm gonna put them on anyway so I can. I don't have to look at the camera all weird and whatnot. Why can't I ever just get to the point of these goddamn videos? Okay, let's get right to the point. This is why you click this video. This, I am getting a new phone. That's what I have an iPhone 6. 6s actually iphone 6s and as you can see this thing is busted to be on no repair basically hey button this that doesn't work if i'm pushing so yeah new phone right here i'm excited you gotta have the gold knife you gotta have the gold knife come on all right here we go let's see i am i am not good at unboxing videos at all because I've never done them. Or am I very good with tech videos? Because I've never done them. Where the monkey? Do you open this? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go from the top. Take it to the top. Like it never never stop. One hop. Ah, oh, ah! Oh, I really hurt my toe. The reason why I'm being so careful about this is because I have to send my old one back. So, I'm gonna send it in this package, which I don't want to destroy. Normally, I would just <laughs> shit up. Mm. Down the mid. That. That's always fun. Files, papers, some more papers, some Mario Kart. All right, no, I don't know why this is. There is way too much stuff in this. Oh, God, baseball. You you wouldn't think that be this many stuff in here. All right, all jokes aside, no, yeah, here's the phone. I got it right here. All right, boom, right there. No, I probably shouldn't be slamming that. Nice, packaged iPhone. There it is. There's the little pull tab. Ready for this? <gasps> you know, the, the one thing with Apple boxes, you ready? I don't, I don't know if anyone else does that, but look at that, it just slides right up. <gasps> mm. That is money, right there. Mm. Look at this. Mm. <gasps> I keep, I keep saying all joking aside, but like seriously, all joking aside right here, this is not the iPhone 8. I know, I know. I'm Here's the reason why I did not get the iPhone 8. And I'll tell you, it's very quick. iPhone 7, same thing, same thing. If you're a nerd, right here, here's all the specs of the iPhone 8. Read it and weep. And here's all the specs of the iPhone 7. Pretty damn similar if you ask me. Also another reason why I got it too because my insurance just happens to cover my phone and it's been a while since I made a claim so they're pretty much sending me this phone for insane prices. And that was probably the biggest factor of why I got the iPhone 7 versus the iPhone 8. And that's because I didn't want to pay an arm and a leg for the new phone when basically this thing does the same exact thing. Now for me, I would have gotten another iPhone 6s, and I'll tell you why. Right here, that little hole, that little hole you see right there, I don't know if you can see it, but that little headphone jack means everything to me. For me, it's all about workflow. If anything slows me down, or if there's an extra little piece, I lose it. I am terrible with my stuff. I lose things all the time. So the whole point of that headphone jack, it just makes my life easier. I don't have to have an extra plug to plug that in with the headphones and all that. I don't have to have wireless because I lose, I lose headphones all the time. So I'm constantly getting new ones and most of them have that headphone jack. And if the phone doesn't have the headphone jack, what's the point? So that's the reason why I went with the iPhone 7, not the 8. Now from a spec standpoint, yes, the iPhone 8 is on paper better and usually newer with technology means better. I should say 
more advanced. It's not always better. That's not always the case. But don't get me wrong. I like if someone just offered me the iPhone 8, I would take it. In fact, actually, if someone offered me the iPhone 10, I would absolutely take that. I think that is like the step in the next direction towards phones. So Apple's not really doing much of anything new. They're doing things that other people have done. That's also Apple. You know, they they come into the party late, but they also are the best at what they do. So they see other people do it first and test the waters and they're like, you know what, that's cool. Let's do that. Let's make it better. And they usually do. I was literally not gonna have a phone for the next month and I was just gonna be like, screw it and get the iPhone, uh, I wanna say X. Why would they skip nine? It makes no sense. I was gonna get the iPhone 10, but you know, it's, it's, that, it's that good good. You know what I'm saying? It, it costs some good good. It costs some nice uh, Monopoly money, if you know what I mean. My advice is if you have the iPhone 7, stick with it. If you have the money and you don't care, upgrade. It doesn't hurt because new technology is always more advanced and you can do more things. But the price point does not match up the significant difference is what I'm saying. I also didn't just make this video just, you know, just because I wanted to make this video because I wanted to catch you guys up on my life a lot more content is gonna come out soon i promise you this next year is going to be just ridiculous for me but there will be a lot and i mean a lot more content that's coming this year so stay tuned like i said a quick video and uh just a quick update from your friendly neighborhood day to day chase but yeah new, new stuff's coming soon just subscribe click that button i'm telling you it will be worth it otherwise you know See ya. And no, I did not make this video just for strictly clickbait. I made this video because I wanted to update people and I got the new phone and I figured I might as well just talk about my quick thoughts. That's it. Please don't give me crap for this. Like, please don't.